Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the on-stream app to your Fire Stick in 2025. The whole process is pretty easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get on-stream on your device. And first of all, you have to get the app called Downloader to your Fire Stick. So if you already have the loader on your device and it is properly set up, then you could actually skip this step. But if you don't have downloader yet, or you are unsure if it is set up correctly, then of course just follow me. So we have to go to search on a fire stick, open the search bar, and start typing downloader in here. And usually there is even no need to enter the whole name of the app, because as you can see, downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. Just click on it. And here is the app, which you need to get to the Fire Stick. But after you got the loader, it's not over yet, because you still have to set it up. So now in order to actually set up the loader, we have to go to settings. So let's do it together. You click that button with a gear icon, scroll down and open My Fire TV. And now in here, what you have to do is turn on the developer options. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry, because it's pretty easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote and do it fast. So let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's gonna say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging after that, go to install on apps. And in here, all you have to do is locate the loader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon app store by default. And that's exactly what we'll do right now. So now we go back to the list of apps on the Fire Stick. Let's open it all together. And here is the downloader, which we just got. But before actually using the loader, there is one more thing, which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast. They got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is a great pricing for us, the users. Now, all we have to do in a VPN app is connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to Finland right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic will be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, then I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video or in a description of this video, you will get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for an award. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. 
So we have to go back to a list of apps near Firestick, locate and loader, and let's open it up. So now it has loaded. And basically all we gotta do is open the search bar and enter the link, which is gonna be on stream dot s oh so once again the whole link is on stream dot so that's what you gotta enter then just click on go and while it's loading make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about fire sticks now a website should open up for us in a couple of seconds it might take some time before it loads and here, all I have to do is scroll down the website a little bit and click on download on stream. After that, you have to press the on stream for Android TV button. Now, in a couple of moments, the download of the app will start. Usually, it does not take long, but of course, it all depends on your connection speed. So just wait for a couple of seconds until the download is finished. After that, you have to click install. And now the app should be installed to your Amazon Fire Stick. That's how you install on stream on the Fire TV Stick device. After that, don't click open yet. Instead, press done because this way you get an option to delete the installation files, which you don't need anymore on your Fire Stick device. So just click on delete and then delete once again. This way you will be able to save yourself some free space on a Fire Stick. And it's really important because by default, your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of a space available anyway. Then let's go back to the list of apps near your device, open it, and there at the bottom you will finally see on stream. So now, first of all, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That is the button with three horizontal lines, right next to the home button on your remote. Just click on it and then press on move to front. This way, on stream will always be at the very top of your application list. And therefore, it will be way easier for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online when using such apps. And once again, you can use a link below this video to get three months of NordVPN totally for free. And so basically that's the easy way to get on stream to your Fire Stick device. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.